So hello everyone that has just joined or is watching the video. I'm Susan and I'm going to be casting rant 6 of Go For All. It's going to be TCM versus X6. Um, and the first band is going to be Carthus, um Because he is really strong in the lane. And he gets really strong late game with his damage. We've got an Anivia band that might be targeted at Janatin. Because Janatin did play in an excellent um, Anivia last game. Those walls... Uh, Got them a lot of stuff uh, going. They keep kept catching people um, um, to over. Uh, wait, they kept catching people off guard and getting them out of position, and um, that's uh, what they have been doing. And then we have a uh, Morgana ban because Morgana is really strong um, laner and really good in team fight with her ultimate. We got a Shivana ban. Um, which they also used a great effect last game. They might have been watching the stream. That'd be interesting. So anyway, we've got Shen um, banned as well because Shen is just ridiculously overpowered. Now they are actually first pick, so apparently they don't have someone that can play Shen. Otherwise, they wouldn't ban him. I think. And we've got a Cassidin ban as well because Cassidin is just highly mobile and really strong, strong late game. And um, Um, sorry, uh, I was reading something. So we've got a Corky pickup. They did use Corky really well last game, and there might be a Janna pickup because you don't want to be against Janna Corky. Janna Corky is just too strong, and um, um, yeah. So barbecue, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's a pretty good, pretty good um, name, I must say. I'm gonna call him Janna. Uh, we've got a market pickup. Ooh, that's the first time he gets picked up in the game that I cast today. Um, it's going to be interesting to see him jungle and um, do his uh, reduce AoE damage thing. Because that's what market does. Also, he's a tree, so he's he's naturally good in the jungle. Um, um, so, yeah. Let's see what they are going to pick up on the TCM side. Um we're going to pick up Soraka and Rise, and they're going to go for a Rise this time. They actually killed the Rise last time. Oh, they're actually going to go for Cassiopeia. Ooh, I like Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is ridiculous. That's awesome. And they're actually going to go for Sona. So even though the enemy team has both Janna and Maokai, who both counter AoE comps, they're still going for an AoE comp. That's kind of ballsy. I'm interested to see how that's going to work out for them. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. They're just gonna go. Oh, you're you're gonna counter AOE? We don't really give a shit. Just gonna go in and kill you. Um, if they pick up cannon as well, I'm gonna be laughing my face off. Not really though, because that would probably hurt. So let's see what is gonna be picked up for X six. And uh, not sure yet. Cause it's not getting picked yet. Um They are taking their time, they're probably discussing what they're gonna do about this. Um probably wondering what beats Cassiopeia in lane. I can tell you it's very little. Ari could probably do it though. Well probably, but they Ari could do it, I guess. So that's probably why they picked it up. And it's gonna be a Sivir pickup as well. That spell sheet is probably gonna be very useful against the uh, Corky Poke. So let's see what's going to be going down more. Um, what's funny is that except for uh, these two, everyone seems to be picking the champion they're going to be playing. Um, which is good for them because there will be less swapping. And um, that's always awesome. So let's see who's going to be picked up by TCM now. Um, if they're going to be keeping this AoE comp going. They could go for Cannon and have ridiculous amounts of AoE. It's actually going to be Riven. Riven also does AoE. So does Ramus. Um, Ramus has been banned quite a lot this tournament as well because Ramus is still really good um, because of his ganks and just his CC in late game is ridiculous. Um, or just actually every one, every time, uh, any time around the game. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they pull off with that. They have a lot of AoE damage, so they should be pretty good. Even though there is a Maokai ultimate and a Janna ultimate, and then. Um, Safer can run around really quickly. Ari is also really mobile. And actually, in Harmerdinger, that'd be really cool. 
I doubt they're actually going to do it, but it'd be really cool. It's not going to happen though. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be Gangplank. Yeah, it's going to be Gangplank. Too bad. I was looking forward to a uh, Maokai. Or no, Maokai. A uh, cannon. No, not a cannon. A Harbordinger. Here you go. Talking is hard at times. Um, so, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, he's probably going to look it in there. Probably. So I'm going to go look at these ruins because they all have the champion they want and they're not going to swap around anyway. Um, Farfane is going to have um, armor, health regen and magic resist. I don't know if this is actually going to be his jungle runes. He might be changing them. Um, actually I'm going to be right back. I need to take care of something. Um, I'll be back in a sec. I am back and I am not drunk even though someone in chat is saying that. Um, so let's do runes uh, real quick other than the Farfin runes which we just did. Um, I should look at the masteries and I'll do that in a bit. We've got <laughs> Harmoding runes. It's going to be attack damage and armor and flat magic resist. That's a pretty standard um, Riven page I guess. Um, I want to look at Farfin's masteries real quick. He's going 0 9 which is pretty standard on a jungler. And um, who else? I'm going to look at Makai, because he's the other jungler. And he is going 15 AP for his saplings on raves. He's going to have scaling MR and some flat MR. That's probably some rounding thing. Um, I don't know that for sure though. He's going to have armor seals and magic pen marks. Um, oh, I forgot to look at his masteries. Damn it. Sorry guys. Do 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 masteries. He's going zero twenty one nine as well. Pretty much the exact same um same masteries as Ramos has got. So Cassiopeia is gonna have um the same runes as he had on Olivia last game. He's gonna have twenty one zero nine and his runes are magic pen, uh flat AP and scaling AP, a lot of scaling AP. And let's see We've got the Sona with Mana Regen, Scaling Mana Regen, Magic Pen, Health, and uh, Armor Seals. And he's going for the 0921 yet again. And then we're going to go and get a look at Janna. Janna is going to have um, Health Regen, Armor, more Armor, and Flat Magic Resist. And he's going 0921 as well. Um, am I going to be in time? I don't think I'm going to be in time today, everyone. So let's look at Ari, who's actually running cleanse. That's kind of interesting. Um, he is against Cassiopeia, so I see why he would do it. It can also cleanse the Ignite. He's got flat AP, scaling mana regen, magic pen. Actually, no, he's got flat mana regen. Huh, that's interesting. You just don't see that. And he's got scaling AP glyphs um, with his 17 pages. That's a load of pages. Um, and then Gangplank, that's going to be interesting for Top, is going to have armor, mm, armor pen, uh, scaling magic resist, and AD. I don't know if he's going to have enough armor pen to beat on uh, Riven enough. Wait, huh? what just happened? Oh shit, did I just click go away? No, it stopped. Okay, thank god. I just... Oh, wow. Okay, I thought I just quit the game. I don't know what happened. Oh, the enemy team bugged. Ah, 
They probably barked at the last second or something like that. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Ah, there comes the um, thing. Oh, and I've got another three minutes to talk about our runes and masteries. Awesome! This is gonna be epic, guys. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, oh yeah, the low recorder bug. Yeah, that's kind of silly. Sorry, but that's that's just kind of silly. Um. So we're going to wait for a ridal and then we're going to go and do this stuff. I um, can't remember whose runes I didn't look at yet. We'll see in a bit. And um, I don't know. It's going to be cool to see. And um, yeah, stuff happening. So they are going to be going into the game any moment now. Do 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 do. Stuff happens. Ooh, monster professor. Eh, maybe I do want him more friendly. I'll think about it. So um, yeah, Gangplank was running 15 uh, armor pen. So I don't know if that's enough for him to bash on the Riven. I mean, it does help obviously, but if she just starts cloth armor, which I don't think she won't, um, she'll be just fine. I'll look at her runes in a bit when I have to wait three minutes again, and we'll see if. Um, if they might even completely destroy those um, armor pen uh, runes. Um, we're going to have some picks going on. I think it was Rydal. Was it Rydal? No, that was the sport. That's true. Oh, here it was. Oh yeah, it was on the other side of the ranked teams. Anyway, yeah, he's going to have 13 armor. So that's that's he's got two armor pen, basically. And that's going to be countered by his master race. He's actually got a net four armor. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's really worth it. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, it's 15 armor. Ben. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really worth it. But hey, it might help him. Um, so let's look at Corky's runes and masteries. We've got three minutes anyway. I could take this slowly. Okay, so he's got 80 armor and flat magic resist. He's also gone 2190. He's actually got defensive masteries, which will help him in the lane by quite a bit. He gets like plus 30 health, plus um, 108 at um, champion level 18. That's pretty good. Hey, I didn't know this page existed. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is on the minion. Anyway, sorry for that. Um, then who else were we watching? Uh, seen that one, seen that one. I've actually seen anyone. Everyone. Okay, so Ari has cleanse. Um which is kind of interesting. You usually see ignore on mid, but I do know why. I mean there is a lot of CC on the enemy team, especially with Ramus, and the thing is uh, she's against Cassiopeia. And if Cassiopeia puts her ult and ignite on um, Rock at the same time, then Rock is just going to cleanse, and he is not going to be stunned, nor is he going to have uh, ignite on him. And um, if he does it well, he's going to be able to either turn around or flee away with his ultimate or flash. Or maybe he can even just walk away, though I doubt that, because there's probably going to be some uh, slow uh, poison on his face. Um, what is a slow poison called again? No, that's not. No, that's the wrong button. Sorry, guys. Wrong button. I can pass. Uh, here we go. This is what I wanted. What's his W called? Abilities. My asthma. Cassiopeia releases a cloud of poison, slightly, lightly damaging and slowing any champion that happens to pass through it. Yeah, happens to pass through it. I like that wording. Like, it's usually just every champion it hits because you are trying to slow them but hey yeah why are there no Nautilus's? Nautilus's that'd be pretty cool anyway 
So um, the game is going to be starting in 40 seconds and now we're going to see how this goes down. Um, and um, the supports are both running clairvoyance this game. Um, it's been a while since I saw that today. And um, so there's going to be some more map vision for them. And actually, Inky is again uh, running Exhaust, which you usually don't see at top anymore. Usually people run Ignite now on top, sometimes Teleport, but even that is kind of rare. And um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see about that. And um, it's going to be five more seconds, like a boss. Two, one, awesome. Okay. Here you go. Put that up. Awesome. So that's the game. Um, okay, so we've got Ninja Ramus, uh, which is a really cool skin. That's actually a really, really cool skin. We get Kicking Sona. I don't know, I like the Muse Sona better, though this one is pretty good to um, that corky skin is pretty cool but not very interesting we've got spooky gangplank which is really cool and we've got the um, we prefer that Ari skin we have a Maokai uh, with a mask on his face which is also pretty cool and we got the coolest silver skin um, overall it is uh, four skins against three skins so in skin fury um, TCM should lose to X um, X six, though you know it could go either way. It's not that much of an advantage. It's not like they have gentleman Chogov. Um, so anyway, uh, there's going to be CVs right here and here. So we're going to be seeing what the targeting items are, and there's going to be free boots here, fire charm, and doo -doo 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 -doo. nothing yet. And the good luck have fun are going in. And then have fun as well. Wow, he's just he just wants them to have fun. Not luck, of course, because he wants to win. But he wants them to have fun. And that's just a nice uh, by them. And they are both looking to possibly invade. Actually, they're going to be um, defending. TCM is going to be defending. And I want to look at the bunny. Where's... Oh, wait. Bunny Ari is here. Ooh, bunny Ari. Ooh. Okay. Anyway. I am not preferred. So they're actually going to move in through this. You don't usually see that. It's going to be pretty cool. There is a ribbon here. Is he going to be caught out of position? Not quite. Is he going to be... Oh, it's actually a silver. Not a ribbon. Huh? Why did I think ribbon? Ribbon's on the other team. Anyway. <coughs> so they know they're coming. And TCM is actually not going to go in. Because they know that X6 knows that they are coming. Um, yeah. <coughs> But they do really want to stop him from doing his race. They can easily do that as well. You don't even have to uh, tank the uh, saplings. You can just walk up to them and they uh, do the stuff. And actually they're going to go for the blue buff. Because they know Maokai is going to be walking in here. Um, but I think X6 knows that. Actually there's going to be a Q from Ramus now. This time it's going to be in time. But is he going to... No, he's not going to quite flash. Um, I don't know why Corky walks out of the brush before uh, Ramus did. That was kind of silly. Um, so they didn't quite achieve. Uh, they didn't really achieve anything. Um, actually, they lost something because Ramus is going to be uh, Farfin is going to be slower in his jungle right now than um, I am more than is going to be. So I don't know. I don't think that was really worth it. And he's going to pick up the, pick this up extremely quickly. And there comes he's smart. He's going to pick it up and he's going to go for his wolves. And be more than a level ahead of uh, Ramus because Ramus is halfway to level two, and this guy is already halfway to level three. And he's after this wolves, he's going to be um, pretty much level three. Here you go. See, he's almost level three. <coughs> so Felix is going to be quite aggressive on Rido here, but Rido has a shield. Um, still, though, Felix is going to be doing massive damages. That is ridiculous. Um, I don't know how much extra AD he has. Oh, I can't see that. That kind of sucks. But hey, um, he's going to do a lot of damage though. He's going to have 10 damage less than Cypher, but still doing more damage. Does he have armor pen? He has got 6 armor pen. That, that's not really the reason he's doing so much damage. It's probably just his base damages being really good. And um, 
Isiv was looking for a Q, but he didn't quite hit that. He did hit the power cord, and that hurt uh, quite a bit because it's Sona, and she does that. And Farfane is just going to start his raves, and um, Morden already has finished his jungle pattern pretty much. He's going to be done with his jungle path at the time that um, Farfane is going to just start his rad. And he's going to be looking for a gank right now on Inky. And Inky is... well, the lane is pushing, so it's going to be hard to gank this properly. Um, actually, it's going to stay right here, so they could be in a really good position to do this. And Naps is going to be trying to bait him a bit. Uh, it's not going to quite happen though. Ooh, and there comes Morden. He is going to go in and he's going to snare. Is it going to be in time? No, he's not. But there is a, quite a bit of damage going in on Inky. And that's going to help uh, Naps quite a bit in the lane. If we look at bottom lane, there's still some harass going down from Falix. And in mid, um, they have been exchanging, but it's not like not dramatically low on either side. And Morden is going to go for a gank here on Janet. And ooh, he just was not in range. I think the range was around here when Janatin was here. That's how close they were. Um, that was really close. If he had gotten that snare, I think Cassiopeia would have probably died or at least be forced to go back. So, um, he should have been really happy he was out of range. And actually, Morden is going to go around and try it again. And this same, there might even be a charm on him. He is Oom, so he's not going to be able to uh, slow them anymore because he also used that spell. And Farfin is actually going to be trying to move in, but he doesn't have a lot of health. Um, Morden is actually going to face check this brush, and he is going to be taunted, and there comes some damage I put. Not enough, though, because Janatin is completely oom. He got seven mana right there. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, and he's going to tank that sapling because he doesn't really give a shit. He's going to probably go back. <coughs> so, other than that. Um, Morden is going to walk down but and try to gang there, but there is a ward. So, uh, Felix and Isiv um, are going to be walking back and they are no going to notice that and not get ganked. So, Morden is actually putting, even though he's not ganking successfully, as in he's not getting kills or wasting that many summoner spells. I don't, did he waste, make Inky use his summoners? No. So, he didn't make people use their summoners at all. And um, he didn't get kills, but what he did do is put pressure on the lane. And um, because there is pressure on the lane, the TCM people will have to play a bit more carefully. Because they know that there can be a Maokai coming at them at any, t at any time. And, you know, that's just a scary feeling. Um, oh wow, there's going to be a fight down here. Falix is almost dead. Heals come out, but he is going to... Ooh, just survive. He had 30 HP there. Uh, Isif is actually gonna go in and do some damages on the uh, barbecue. What the fuck, I'm god. Um, but Farvin is gonna come in and he is gonna probably taunt her. He had CV was there so that you could see in the brush and he is ooh, possibly gonna pick up the skill. Yes, he is gonna pick up the kill and that's the first blood. There was a flash that was kind of overkill. But hey, if, if Farvin didn't kill him, he wanted to Q. Just to be sure. But yeah, first blood for them and that's gonna put him at an advantage. Especially on the jungler, that's actually pretty damn good. Um, I don't know why people always think you have to give kills to your laner. I mean, the Corky wasn't there. So then Ramus is obviously the better choice. But even if Corky was there, I don't think I would have minded the kill on the, um, on Ramus. I don't know why I didn't finish that fight. So actually, Nept is going to go down to Inky here. Inky wasn't even low health. Sorry for missing most of the fight, though. But I can give you a rundown of what happened. She moved in and killed him with a stun and her knock-up and her loads of damage and then her ultimate finished him off you know stuff like that so he is winning this lane even though everyone predicted that um, Gangplank was gonna win this lane um, for some reason I don't actually know why though I mean she got ganked okay so Inky got ganked and he's still winning the lane even though people say that Gangplank is a counter to her I don't really agree I mean yeah I mean, Gangplank is stronger than her until level 6. After level 6, she can just bully him because she can win every trade with him. Especially if he hasn't gone back yet, and she has, and he's got, she's uh, got lifesteal. Which she does because of her Dorans. And her, the Q... <coughs> the Q, it looks like it's being used for farming anyway. But the Q isn't really useful against her. Actually, he seems to be going to support Gangplank with leveling his E. And Morden is going to be trying and trying to gank here. 
Um, it might be successful because Inky is very far away. Wow, okay. So he says, well, okay, you want to gank me. I'm just going to walk away and queue away and solo it up. That was well done by him, and Morden is not going to go for this uh, blue here. And uh, Jonathan is going to ward and go and take this blue buff for himself. And Cassiopeia does really need that blue buff to spam her spells properly. Um, Rook is... Um, it's gonna be moving down, but he's she's a little. He sees that they have a ward here, or at least he doesn't know there's a ward here, but he noticed them going back, so uh, that's why he went back to push the lane back as well. Um, so down bottom, <coughs> if we look at the CS, Gorky is 10 CS ahead of um, of Siver, so Falex is that doing that, and um, they are also two kills ahead. So at the moment. Um, they are almost 2k ahead. They're one and a half k ahead, and um, they're just happily farming at the moment. Um, I think Farfetch should probably go back with his 1100 gold. Um, that's just me, though. Probably he's going to go for his red as well. I don't know. I think he should have gone back when he had his heart of gold, and then just you know get more gold percent. I mean, I'm I, I'm guessing he's going for uh, heart of gold. That's what he's probably doing. He might not though. And Morden is going to be walking in and trying to gank this lane. They have to push it though before they. Oh, there comes CCV. So TCM does know that they have excellent map control, uh, or at least map vision. Um, with these wards here, they can see everyone coming. Um, you actually see feed um, properly as well. They have a ward here. So the only the only part of the river, the only entrance to our jungle and lanes that's not warded is this one. And that's probably because she's been in lane for a while. Actually, huh? She has regals. Why is there no ward? This is preposterous. Um, so yeah. Let's see. The farm in mid is uh, going to be pretty much equal. In top, Inky is going to have um, almost 20 CS more. And he's going to pick up golems now and actually go and attack Nat even though he's in the enemy jungle and um, Rock is coming in so there might be a good gank here on Inky. Inky sees it coming though, he exhausts immediately he's gonna stun and he's actually gonna go for the Rock and he is gonna kill her and walk away as well possibly and now he is gonna go down for sure but wow he just turned that around and here comes Janetson as well and he might be able to pick up Nat's, Nat 1 and Farfin is coming as well, yeah Nat is pretty much dead uh, unless he pulls off an amazing play, which he could do, but I doubt it. And here you go. Yeah, he's going to be cute and he's going to be taunted, and that's the end of him. Well played by TCM. That was. Okay, so what Inky did there is he had a perfect estimation of how much damage he could do. He knew he was going to go down uh, for sure. So he was like, okay, I'll take Rock with me though. And Jonathan is moving up, and he's going to take down Napt. That's pretty much what he did there. Morden is actually going to be ganking down bottom if Sif is going to go down. And Felix is going to have to retreat. But I don't know if he's going to be in time. They are going to be able to tower dive him. Is he going to go down? He is going to go down with two flashes. Morden is really close to dying. But there is a Janus shield and he is fine. In mid there is a gank going on. But Rook didn't really care about that. And ooh, Sif might want to go back. Um... Barbecue is pretty low. They are going to actually go bottom and gank, possibly. If they don't go through the tri brush where there is a ward, they will be able to. And they are going to be spotted because they didn't use the right route. Aww. That's kind of silly. And there is going to be a tornado and a Janna ultimate, but it's not going to be enough. And he is going to be able to pick up. Oh my god, what the fuck? Barbecue, whatever. Barbecue, what the fuck? Oh my god. Wrong order. You know, that thing. The Siver. And there is going to be some fights at top, but it's not really interesting. Um, Inky is two levels ahead of Napt, and he is probably going to go for these golems again if they are dead. Um, he might have not been able to kill the small golem last time, though. And he's actually going to never mind that. So if we look at the ward coverage right now, um, actually, let's look at this. TCM is picking up the blue of um, X6. And Farfain is tanking that. It's going to be closer. There's a ward from both teams. So they both know what's going on. And Farfain is going to smite that and pick it up. He's going to give his own blue to Janatin most likely. 
and there is going to be 4v4 here. I don't know if they're going to go for Dragon or their team. Um, actually, X6 could do it. They have a ward here. They know what's going on. There's going to be a sapling here. And, I mean, the thing is, they are higher health and higher mana. So they could actually do it. And Janetin is going to move back. They are going to pick up this dragon pretty much for free. There might be a tech. Um, there might be contest in it. Mm. Janetin doesn't have ultimate for 15 seconds. And Farfin is actually going really low. There is going to be a Gangplank ultimate as well as a Maokai ultimate on them. It's not going to do enough though. The Maokai uh, snare did go in. But Janetin is going to... No, he's... Ah, oh, yes, he is going to go down. He takes Silver with him though. Uh, actually, no. He takes... Ari with him, and Sifra goes down right now as well. Well done by TCM. They didn't have a Cassiopeia ult. It probably just came up again. But, um, well done there. And actually, Tower got taken by Inky as well, and they stopped them from doing Dragon. So that was a really good exchange for them. One for two, and they t picked up a Tower. I mean, that's a pretty good exchange. <laughs> I think they'd want to make that one again. Um, and they are going to keep pushing this, and Inky might be picking up this red uh, no problem <coughs> so he is going to be yeah so he is going to pick this up um, x6 is going for it but they're not going to be in time the bot tower also gets picked up so they're doing basically the same thing they did last time they're just going to face roll the entire uh, enemy base they took down two towers in the side lanes and they're probably going to move up for the middle tower really soon they're taking the enemy jungle they're just generally taking map control and with that map control and their excellent map uh, awareness they're going to be able to turn this m game into their favor even more Nat has the W there to get away but his Q is not going to do enough because he did max his E first and there's going to be more than here but that gank isn't going to do much because the Raven is so mobile and she can probably take them both on no problem, I mean she's 3 levels higher than uh, more than, she's 2 levels higher than Gangplank actually 3 levels higher than Gangplank He's f 4 levels higher than Morden actually. Wow. That's how much he's had. And they are pinging around here. Ooh, they're forming up for Dragon again. Um, but Inky is close enough to make it a 5v4. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, Felix is moving in as well. Inky is here. He might be caught. But then I don't know if they can actually kill him. And um, <coughs> it's going to be interesting here um, Nat can't actually come because he has to push back top first otherwise his sour is going to get too much damage and dragon is going to be picked up there at TCM that's the first dragon of the match the next one is going to be at 16 minutes 50 no not 16 <laughs> that would be funny dragon every minute it's going to be um, 21 minutes uh, 22 21 22 and then okay so let's look at the gold per lane. Corky has 5k gold and um, Silver has 4k gold. So that's a 10k gold advantage. Um, Riven has 5k gold. Gangplank has 4k gold. That's another f 10, uh, 1k gold advantage. Let's just say 10k. Probably not. Anyway, um, Ramas has 4.5k and Maokai has 3.5k. That's another 10k gold advantage. 1k gold advantage. Jeezy crazy. 1k gold advantage. 1000 gold. Goldy golds. And then Cassiopeia has 5k. And Ari has 4k. Slightly more. So, pretty much everyone has a 1k gold advantage over their um, opposing row. Even the supports have that. And you can see in the, in the global gold, the global gold is actually 5k uh, advantage. So, that's pretty much all objectives, probably. And um, the farm difference isn't that high, I think, actually. Now, Ari is slightly ahead of uh, Cassiopeia. Um, Gorky is uh, 30 ahead of Sivir, though. And up top, Riven is 50 ahead. Okay, so it's not that bad. <laughs> um, I'm not drunk. Stop saying that, Factor. <coughs> So anyway, yeah, and I'm rounding off to K's because I'm awesome. So, okay, yeah, farm-wise, they're actually doing well as well. TCM is winning in farm as well, um, except for mid, which is pretty much equal anyway. I mean, HCS isn't that much of a difference. 
And actually Farfin is going to be looking to initiate here. He is at least going to take the blue buff um, from X6. Jonathan is here and actually that's going to be picked up by Falix. And Farfin is looking for initiate. It's not going to quite work for him though. And he is going to power bow away. No sweat. So um, Rydal does have an Oracles which gives the map vision but so does Isif. And um, the map control of TCM is just ridiculous at the moment because they've got oh actually he's gonna uh, Valkyrie over the wall and he's gonna try and slow them and there comes Farfin he didn't get bashed away by the general but and there comes the ultimate from Janitor Janitin as well Ignite goes down on server server is gonna definitely die nice uh, rocket there uh, by Falix well played by all four of them actually all three of them I Civ wasn't really in a fight you did bad so anyway uh, wow okay sure if we're missing that part but um, Inky just killed um, Gangplank 1v2 and died to Morden, uh, snaring over her Q. Otherwise, he'd, she'd have probably killed him as well. Um, yeah, snare OP. Did he actually level that? Uh, no, he didn't. But hey. Yeah, and the Ignite and Passive of um, Gangplank did damage as well. And there goes another Tower. And AD Rook might be in a bad position here. Now he's going to be fine. And two more people moving in. Um. Oh yeah, good point. Um, Rydal actually died with oracles, so that's going to be a lot of gold that he's behind. He doesn't have two gold pretends, he's only got one. And there's two gold pretends on um, on Wysiv, or Isiv, or whatever his name is. And there's going to be an infinity etch on the Corky. So that's going to be doing, he's going to be doing massive amounts of damage. Saver only has, yeah, he's going to Regal's Phantom Dancer build, which is a completely different build. It's not really comparable to each other. Still though, you only go that, la you only go that um, build if you're getting raped in lane, and he was getting raped. He's 30 CS behind. So it's 40 CS difference. I don't know. They're just looking kind of uh, bad at the moment. But you know, they can still win. Um, there are three towers behind, and they're uh, a dragon behind. Dragon's going to be spawning in one or two minutes. Uh, one and a half. Um, but still, they could still win, you know. It could happen. And we've actually got a black cleaver on uh, Riven. That's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how much armor pen he has now. He's got six armor pen plus the black cleaver. I wouldn't go for black cleaver without um, without armor pen runes and masteries. But hey, that's just me. And there's going to be initiated more than here. He's going to be taunted and he is probably going to go down. Here comes Inky. Um, excellent Janna ultimate, but it's not going to save him. Oh, actually, Janna is going to take the blade for that and he's going to die. Um, he almost saved, uh, saved. well, he saved more than, but he died in the breast. He's almost got away himself too. That was a good ultimate by him, but it wasn't enough and he is going to get picked up. And TCM is now going to push this Tower 5v4, and um, that is going to be a dead tower, and they're going for the next tower as well. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. So there is going to be a Q from Cipher there, going to be thrown into them. Napt is going to Q, but it's not going to be enough, and um, it's still a 4v4. So they can't really beat this because there is a fat uh, Cassiopeia, fat Ramus, fat Corky. It's just I don't think, you know, I want to say they they do have a chance still. Um, they could win like two or three team fights and just destroy the enemy team anyway. But it's going to be extremely hard for them to come back into this. Um, I think TCM is looking really good at the moment. They're going to be pushing the inner inner turret here again, and Dragon did just spawn. Uh, 21 minutes 50, but you know that for an inner tower is not really worth it because Dragon does give slightly more gold, I think. Um, gives 190, and uh, the other one gives 150, so that's um, 200 gold more for your team. But honestly, it's not really worth it because it gives so much map control to kill a tower, and uh, or destroy a tower, I should say. There's going to be a fishing ward here. I don't know why you put a fishing ward down bit unnecessary and there's going to be a load of wards around here. Farfain is actually going to go in and initiate on them. Um, he can only uh, go for Morden though. Morden is going to go down instantly though. Rado is really close to death. He is going to get picked up. No he's not going to get picked up but rest is by Falix and Cassiopeia and Inge. It's just so much damage going down. They have so much sustained damage and 
kind of bursty as well. Um, and there you go, there comes the Surrender Foat. Well played by TCM, and um, good game. So I think that this game, what pretty much won them the game, is that they again were able to take map control because their top lane won, and then bottom lane won, and um, they just, you know, took map control, and um, that's basically what won them the game. Um, <coughs> so if you look at these scores, Rums actually hasn't died. Well done by Farfane. Um, and if you look at the golds, um, the lowest gold of TCM has 5k. And he's like uh, just half a k behind the AD carry and the AP carry. And the top. Well, okay, he's behind the top. He's 1k behind the top. But still, I mean, every other person in this team is... Got, has got one at least 1k more gold than the enemy team. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's just really well done by them. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it was uh, it was re really well done by them. And they just took the map control. I think the map control is really the, uh, the um, thing that won them the game. And they do that really well. They take towers, they have a good map vision, take enemy buffs. They just take map control and win with that. So um, for everyone watching the video, thanks for watching. And see you later for the people watching the stream. Stay tuned.